Hello and welcome back guys to Broken Sword 5 episode 2. I'm Dink and this is Avibat TV. And there is a guard hey, outside. Over there! What? Ah, just try it, sunshine. Yikes. That wasn't gonna get me anywhere. Wow. That drain pipe though. It's gonna get me up. Really? Or down? Definitely up. I need to figure out something. What now? Maybe now? I didn't want to attract attention to myself without a plan. Okay. So I guess there has to be a plan. There was nothing here. I guess there was some be something down there. For a plan. Man, I'm so fit. The drain pipe entered a small flat drain cover. It was a door to an unknown area of the chapel. I didn't think there was a way down to that door from inside the chapel. Yeah. So... What's the goal here? How can I guess? Yeah. That's a good question. Let's see. There has to be something, I guess. So, I guess I need to throw the radio there. That was almost a great idea. Almost. Then I have two radios? So what? That would be pointless. At the drain? There was no point putting that in the drain. Oh, I see. Let's put the radio in the drain. Hey, Nico, I've got a plan. Over. Roger, George. What are you thinking? Over. <laughs> I'm going to place the radio out here. Maybe it'll be enough to distract the guard. Give me a second to set this up, then start talking. Got it. Come on, set it up. I carefully positioned the radio in the drain. Yep. Figured it out. It's not like we have... So Quick, George! I found a way out! I'm warning you, I will shoot! Oh, shit. Wait. I did... I need to throw something at him? Oh, for fuck's sake. No. I didn't. Now, let's go. Leave Marquez here. Before the police come. Come on. Nico! Listen, this is a big mistake. You have to let us out of here. What? You stick your head out of that door and I will put a bullet in it. What? So I guess I need to throw something at him or what? The mullet? How was he here? What the hell? Something's not right. I guess I need to come over here. Maybe that's why there's a way out. And now? I didn't want to attract attention to myself without a plan. Well, we have a plan. That wouldn't have worked. So what's the plan? Can do... Why, why can I go up? Has to be a misdirection by the game. Okay, down. Down, George, down. The radio had slipped out of reach. What? 
I guess I need to tell, to tell Nico to talk and then open the door. Maybe. Come on, Nico. Do you think? Nico, that thug isn't gonna let us just walk out. Let me talk to him. Oh. Yeah, Nico. Hey, handsome. Could you find it in your heart to let me out? <laughs> Look, love, I'll just as happily put a bullet in you as your yank friend. Oh, man. If you fancy your chances, then feel free to try and escape. <laughs> I never miss. Uh. You could have just said no. <laughs> You're losing your touch, Nico. Seriously? Any luck? <laughs> I gave you my best charming French damsel. Nothing. I think it's time to start thinking of another way out. Could you use your radio to get the guard's attention? Damn. Wait till I'm out on the balcony. Then we'll know if he falls for it. Sure. I'll see what I can do. So I guess I need to... Hmm. Okay, Nico, now! Don't think I won't shoot you. So what? I don't get it. I knew it. That's why you can go. The hammer hit the guard on the head with enough force to knock him out. That was a fucking small hammer. It should have pierced his head, and I just killed him. Game. That's like what? One door is two meters, and then a little more, almost three. Then we have almost double, six meters. A hammer. It's definitely a kill. And this was a fucking, like a fucking chisel. That guard won't be causing us any more problems. We definitely killed him. After we killed Marquez with our lies. Yep. George is a murderer. I don't know why I keep calling him Brian. Because <laughs> he's a moron. What, did you do to the what do you think I did? Uh, those steps must have been slippery. He took a little tumble. Right. Nico, look. There's a cable car ready to go. Quick, before Langham locks down the system. Right. This doesn't. A short run and a long jump later. What? You don't think perhaps we should have waited for the next one? <laughs> well, we caught it, didn't we? What's all the fuss? Now, if I can just open this window, I think we'll be fine. Oh, this doesn't look Maybe good. Not. Now, don't panic just yet. I, I'll think of something. Oh man. The catch was on the inside. I couldn't get to it. Huh. So basically, there is Nico. You hanging in there? <laughs> Let's face it, I'm either hanging in here or plummeting <laughs> to my death. <laughs> oh boy, this I get. Oh, George, what have you done? <laughs> okay, let's see. It's on the inside. How can we? That wouldn't open the window. So we need to open the window. But how? That wouldn't open the window. Yeah, no shit. Oh, we can cut the window with the medallion? That wouldn't open the window. No? You sure? Maybe it's not a diamond. Oh yeah, diamond that big. It would definitely wouldn't go over it. So what, biscuit? That wouldn't open the window. That wouldn't open the window. Why would we want to open the fucking window? There is a door. Hold on. I couldn't quite reach the handle. The medallion? That wasn't going to help me open the door. 
Oh yeah? Well something will. A bow of yarn. Hmm. That doesn't really help me either. Oh boy. Am I good or what? <laughs> Let's talk to Nico. Hang on in there. I'm hanging on, Georges. Georges, can you do something? Let's open the window. Why is the door? It's a little stuck. Just give me a second. Just hurry up! Why are the Nico! Holy shit. So, we meet again. What now? Putin? I've Holy come shit. for my painting. Oh what man. painting? La Maladiction. Gesundheit. <laughs> Don't play games with me. We both know the painting conceals a treasure, Mr. Stobart. You know, even if the painting was yours, I wouldn't give it to you. You're just a common gangster. Oh boy. <laughs> a fine sentiment. But I won't let you cross me again. Again? You stole my ruble. My platinum 12 ruble. Well, that was just an old coin. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of old coin. Oh shit. Wow. Well, a guy could do a lot of redecorating with that. Ah, uh, enough of your American humor. You will tell me where to find the treasure, and you will tell me now. Not gonna happen. And did you really just say, so we meet again? What? Holy shit, I'm Nico now? How is this dude not see me? What do I have? A mop and a radio. Hello! How did they even Not stop? Here. Stop that shit. He finally see me. Oh, hello, miss. Could you help me out, please? Sorry, no can do. What? But while you're down there, maybe you can clear something up for me. What? Something you said when we first met has been playing on my mind. <laughs> do I have a choice? Exactly. <laughs> exactly what? Choice. I don't follow. You see, I'm a determinist. Goes with this line of work. <laughs> so. But what you said in London made me ask one of the big questions. Is there such a thing as free will? <laughs> because oh if there God. is, then I've made some pretty dodgy choices in my time. So help me out a bit here. Oh boy. Can't you stop, Madovsky? As I said, it would be futile to try. His actions are predetermined, like mine. Okay. So, uh, you're a determinist. Isn't that just an excuse to let Medovsky boss you around? <laughs> At least I know who's controlling me actions. Do you? Of course. I do as I choose. So, you chose to leap off that cable car, did you? <laughs> yes, because you and Medovsky shot at me. You did choose to shoot at me, didn't you? Well, yes. But I didn't choose to shoot that geezer in the gallery. Yeah. Face it, Shields. Determinism is just a way to hide from responsibility. <laughs> Maybe you're right. So what? We have a choice. We always have a choice. Just like you've got a choice right now. Help us. Why would he honor. help us, man? This well, is I don't know. Poor I'd like poor. to. But the boss shoot him. My philosophy class seemed to be working. So do you have regrets? <laughs> no. I don't think so. But I am a little worried. This whole free will thing has got me thinking. Oh man. You never intended to kill Henri? I just wanted to rough him up a little. But the oh. gun went off and the rest is history. Free will didn't come into it. 
But you'd made that choice not to shoot him. The fact he died was an accident. Mm. Oh man. So you think I've got a chance <laughs> of redemption? <laughs> Course you do. If by redemption you mean a spell in jail with damn off a good behavior, then yes. <laughs> I think there is a chance for you. I need to chew this over some more. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Holy with shit. a little more persuasion, I thought Shears might be our ticket out of this mess. Mm -hmm. See? You didn't choose to kill Henri. He died regardless. Exactly! Yeah. It was accidental homicide. Wow. What do you enjoy in life, Shears? Oh. Well, uh, I like footy, a good scrap, and topiary. How the hell is topiary? Ah. Chelsea, so like Chelsea. you're a football fan, right? Gotta love the beautiful game. Yep. So if the Terminism was valid, why would anyone play? What would be the point of it all? Hmm. Sometimes when we lose, that's just what <laughs> I think. I think I'm having an epiphany. Of course, it might just be indigestion. <laughs> Excuse me. No, it's definitely an epiphany. <laughs> I think you're right. The only thing that has led me here is me and my actions. I'm going to talk to the boss. He's sure to listen to reason. Yeah. Just gonna shoot him right now. Boss! Boss! What is it, you imbecile? <laughs> How many times have I told you not to interrupt me when <laughs> I'm about to kill somebody? Remember what we agreed. I am the big man who takes care of the big things. And I am the little man who takes care of the little things. <laughs> exactly. So, haven't you got a little thing you should be doing? Wow. Hmm. There is one little thing, now you mention it. Well, don't let me stop you. Get on with it, you big baboon. <laughs> if you say so, boss. Wow. Oh. Oh, dear. There what? you go. Free will under orders. <laughs> now that... Is what I call a real paradox. Boy, is he stupid or what? Ah, oh, she was still hanging out there. Wow, that's quite impressive. So what now? George, you took your time back there. <laughs> I'm and I had a lot to catch up on, and you and Shears seem to be getting on just fine. So, I figured you'd holler when you were done. Always nice to see old friends. Oh, thank God it's you two. You would not believe what just happened. Try us. Cat, what happened? Oh dear, the monks aren't going to like that. <laughs> we had a little philosophical disagreement on the way up. Nothing the little TLC won't fix. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not really broken. More in uh, a transitional <laughs> state. <laughs> right. It's amazing what a lick of paint can do. What now, Georges? We find Langham, we stop his crazy plan, we rescue Eva, and you win a Pulitzer. <laughs> when you put it like that, Georges, sounds easy. Oh man, they're flying already? So, how are we gonna catch Langham now? Well, we've got a pretty good idea where he's going. But he has a chopper. Mesopotamia, or Iraq, as it is now. Not exactly a prime tourist spot. Yeah. Need a lift. I don't think we'll catch Langham in a limo, but thanks. I'm not talking limo, mate. I'm talking Madovsky's full-on, fully fuel tax and ticket Learjet 60. Wow. You think you can get us to Iraq? Wouldn't be the first time, if you know what I mean. I've got the keys, the contacts, and a full drinks cabinet. Nice. How about it? It's the least I can do. Wow. The last thing I remember was getting on board Madovsky's jet huh. and accepting a cocktail from Shears. Oh boy. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, that sounds good. What happened to the light? Is that better? Whoa! 
Senor oh Marquez. no, I'm drunk. Indeed. Hello, John. But you're dead. Does Indeed. death worry you? You bet. <laughs> I got a nasty feeling it's coming my way. <laughs> you have no choice. You cannot allow Langham to destroy Jehovah. Lucifer and Jehovah must rule in harmony or chaos oh will no. prevail. Don't listen to him, George. He is here to lead you astray. Now the priest? What? He is a Gnostic. A heretic. Lucifer is the devil. He should be defeated. Jehovah must reign supreme. Huh. Whoa, hold your horses, Padre. <laughs> what the hell? I'm no big fan of the devil, but follow Jehovah and what do you get? Subservience, repression, <laughs> Mindless conformity, not my Good cup of call. tea, pal. I'm more into sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Bacchus is the god for me. <laughs> ah, see what you get when you turn from Jehovah. A paint spattered hedonist. <laughs> oh boy, oh Don't boy. listen to either of them, George. A heretic and a lazy drunk. Hey, I'm not lazy. Nor I a heretic. I were best forger in the business. <laughs> and I gladly died for my faith, as did thousands of my ancestors. Yeah. Whoa, oh, fellas, fellas, please. My dream, my rules, okay? Now, it seems to me that what you call greed, he'd call ambition. And your subservience is his order. In just about an hour's time, I'm going up against a guy who intends to destroy God. Yeah. I need advice. Practical advice. Have a stiff drink and go down fighting. You're a dead man walking anyway. <laughs> wow. Nonsense. Put your faith in God and he will be your shield. Oh no, I don't... Don't listen to them, George. They're both wrong. Maintain the harmony. Protect the balance. Okay. But how do I... You have the answer in your hands, George. Hmm. In my hands? Well, what do you mean? <coughs> the medallion. Josh? That's the only thing I have. Josh, wake up. You were dreaming. There it is. There is the answer. What? What? Oh. Now it's so comfortable. You yeah. were dreaming. Something about <laughs> sex and drugs from the sun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Are we there yet? Well, that looks like the source of four rivers, so the Garden of Eden is right down there. Just like that. Why did we need to get Ladies the table? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I hope you've had a pleasant flight. The temperature in Eden is <laughs> a pleasant 30 degrees centigrade. We shall be landing on a flat plain about two kilometers into the desert, which you will find is a pleasant stroll to your destination. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt and all that gubbins. Finally, oh, that may I take this opportunity of thanking you personally for choosing to fly air shares. <laughs> do hope you'll fly again with us soon. Wow. Air shares. So we're gonna be first here. And there's another goat. Oh no. Come on, I think we're nearly there. So what this is Eden? Wait, Charles. I uh -huh. think Shields is having a moment. What? He's coming as well. <coughs> Come on, Shields. <coughs> What's up? Blade in Hellfire. <laughs> I'm, I'm cream cracked. Just give me a moment. You go on. We'll catch you up. Oh, Nico. Okay. I guess Nico will suit Shears. She will thank him for the fly here. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dingsy from Marvel TV. See you next time.